to ask, do all war reporters look so, um, feminine? I mean, you're made up so well. We actually have a research department for that. They focus test looks, voice, manner. Apparently, girly is good. Sorry, I pay more attention. Salarians relate to high-pitched voices. And Turians? Turians are nuts. A civilization of war nerds. Loyal viewers, but they write the creepiest fan mail. How's your new assignment working out? Fairly normal, except for the unshackled AI, Matriarch Benezia's daughter, and the communicator that can reach Earth. The first two, I can deal with. That last one gets my attention. So what are you asking for exactly? Anything from Earth is the lead story right now. That's not opinion, it's fact. Maybe I can pass on a few non-classified progress updates. Seriously? You just doubled my ratings. I don't need FaceTime, just a data upload. Your story is Cerberus. They're a clear and present danger to everything we try to do. Alien audiences will hate them. Hmm. So they're traitors to Earth and the galaxy. I wouldn't have to torque it much. And you do have an inside track on Cerberus. All right, you feed me your info and I'll keep biting. Commander, welcome back to the Normandy. Or maybe you should be saying that to me. Engineer Adams, what are you doing here? I was put in charge of the Drive Corps retrofits. My experience on the Normandy SR-1 made me an obvious choice. So, what do you think of our SR-2? She's incredible. If there's one nice thing I can say about Cerberus, it's that they know how to build a ship. And about that, Cerberus, I mean. I owe you an apology. How so? Back when you got this ship, Dr. Chalk was contacting me, asking me to help with your mission against the Collectors. I refused. I didn't have your back, and I'm sorry for that. Why didn't you join us? I saw what happened to you when the Normandy went down. I didn't trust that it was really you, and I certainly didn't trust Cerberus. Also, as an officer of the Alliance, I don't just leave my post, you know? You can make up for it on this tour of duty. Yes, ma'am. How's Engineer Donnelly working out? The kid's got talent. Now if he could just learn to shut his damn mouth. Problems? I'm sorry, Commander. Donnelly's dedicated, knowledgeable, and thinks on his feet. I'm glad to have him on my team. Could use a lesson or two about respecting chain of command, but I've handled the likes of him before. No need for concern. How's Engineer Daniels working out? Her, I like. She's sharp and knows propulsion theory better than most physicists I've met. And she's easy to work with, too. Always said you had an eye for talent. Good job bringing her back to the Alliance. Is your family okay? My parents are serving on Viridian Zenith, an Alliance agricultural vessel. My sister is a navigator on the SSV Benjamin Davis. Happy to report that both vessels are safely under Hackett's command. What do you think of Edie? We had a good talk during the retrofit. A little strange at first, talking shop with an A.I. A.I.? I thought Edie posed as a V.I. to keep the likes of you from unplugging her. Yeah, but I saw through her. Have you seen her hardware? Processing power is off the charts. And then there were the problems that kept fixing themselves. If I hadn't had her pegged, I would have sworn I was losing it. You never expressed any skepticism, Lieutenant Adams. I figured I'd better play it safe with the Cerberus A.I. Edie. No offense. None taken. As long as you keep your fingers out of my cognizance processors. <laughs> In the beginning, I tried disconnecting her from key processes without giving myself away. Easier said than done. But Joker seemed to trust her, and in time I saw her advantages. Even grew to like her. Does the new Normandy stack up to the old SR-1? <laughs> stack up? It blows the old ship away. The Tantalus drive core has been completely overhauled. The SR-2 might be nearly twice the size, but the new drive core is three times bigger. This ship can fly. That said, Cerberus isn't too high on safety. If pushed past her limits, this core would vent into engineering. 
Guess it gives my team incentive to keep her well balanced during a firefight. <laughs> Do your job or get vaporized. Pretty much. I noticed you upgraded the kinetic barriers with cyclonic technology. Should help reduce the draw when under missile fire. Hopefully that means fewer vaporized engineers. The IES stealth system is significantly improved. It can handle a higher blue shift of our emissions. And that means? We should be able to drop out of FTL without triggering every sensor in range. Very handy for stealth reconnaissance. All in all, the Normandy is a marvel of engineering. Carry on, Adams. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's great to be back. Feels good to be in an Alliance uniform again. Welcome aboard, Chief. I'm glad the Commander didn't forget about us down here. I told you Shepard would come visit. Take care, Commander. Good to be back on board, Shepard. A new notification is available on the private messages terminal. Hello again, Shepard. What have you been up to since we last saw each other? Since you helped me defeat the Shadow Broker, I started looking for defenses against the Reapers. The Protheans were the only ones with substantial information on them. The older civilizations barely had records. I knew the elusive man was hunting for the same thing when our agents began crossing paths. Like on Mars. I thought I'd covered my tracks, but he had surveillance there all along. What's been happening with you as the Broker, Liara? It's been... exciting. The old Broker's ship? Impressive, but it was never meant to be space-worthy. Which meant the elusive man eventually tracked me down on Hagalaz. What happened? I knew he was coming. Ferran and I loaded as much of the ship's specialized hardware onto a shuttle as we could. We got away from Cerberus's ships after arranging an appropriate distraction. What kind of distraction? Sending the Broker's ship exploding into a Cerberus cruiser. I don't think the elusive man expected me to give up my resources in such a spectacular fashion. Can you still operate as the Broker without the ship? Well, I couldn't let the elusive man have it. I saved what was crucial. My network of agents is intact, although the Reapers have taken a toll on their numbers. It's taking a while to re-establish contact. So where is Ferron if you two escaped? He convinced me he was recovered enough to work. And I do need more agents. Agent Farron didn't report any injuries during his last call to you, Doctor. True. Given what he survived, I should probably worry less. How much do you know about this Prothean artifact? Very little. We're fortunate enough data survived to piece together the blueprints. Decoding them will require as many specialists as we can find. It's that high tech? I'd have killed for a glimpse of it during graduate school. You brought your little helper with you? Its name is Glyph. It helped sort through all the data that led me to the Archive on Mars. It was a pleasure to be of assistance, Doctor. Glyph's interfaced with the data feeds. Its analytical software should come in handy. We'll talk later, Liara. Of course.
There's the folks who answered the distress call. Cerberus Cruiser. At least a dozen fighters on blockade duty. Not too many for us in a straight up fight. They must want this place bad. Receiving incoming transmission. Let's hear it. SSV Normandy. This is Kaylee Sanders, director of Grissom Academy. We need immediate assistance. Cerberus is attacking the facility. They're after my students. This is Commander Shepard. We're blocked on a direct approach. I know. They've taken control of our docking base. Any alternatives? There's an auxiliary cargo port I could probably open. All right. We'll come in by shuttle and get your students out of there. Joker, can you give me a diversion? <laughs> oh, boy, can I? Sanders, we're clear. It's me. Commander, thank you. Admiral Anderson always said you were the best. And with Cerberus coming for my students, I need the best. How many of you are there? Fewer than 20. Most were sent home when word of the Reaper invasion spread. But a few volunteered to stay. Some are prototyping tech for the Alliance. Others are biotics. They've been training for military operations. Working together as biotic artillery. You said something about Admiral Anderson. Yes, we met 
God, what's it been? 20 years ago, when he was a Spectre candidate. I was there when Saren betrayed him. David saved my life that day. He's a good man. He was on Earth when the Reapers hit. He stayed behind when I got off world. I hadn't heard. We've been cut off from most news. He's alive? Alive and fighting. He's currently leading the resistance movement. Good. If we get out of here... Well, just tell him to stay alive. A few months knocking over practice dummies can't prepare your students for war. Agreed, but the Alliance needs every resource it can get. And our students are unique... resources. They wanted to help. How could we say no with the entire galaxy falling apart? Hang on. I've been trying to get communications working. This is Froberg. There are students trapped in Orion Hall. Cerberus has us boxed in. They're closing fast. Damn it. Orion Hall? Back out the door and down the hallway. I can get the door open. I'll bring them back here and we'll make a run for the shuttle. Thank you, Commander. I'll stay put. With luck, I can regain control of some of our systems. I'll get the door for you. It leads to Orion Hall. Maybe more nearby. Play dead until it's safe, then get to Kaylee Sanders at security. Okay, but my sister Sean is out here somewhere too. We're still trying to reach the students. How you holding up? Getting paid to fly circles around Cerberus? Yeah, I can do this for a living. <laughs> 